Hello, I'm Dr. Ravi Gol, a cataract surgeon in Cherry Hill, New Jersey, and a clinical instructor at the Will's Eye Hospital. Today, I'm going to speak on five pearls to transform your physician brand. I'm one of those people who gets up at 3 o'clock in the morning to stand in line and listen to Warren Buffett speak at the Berkshire Hathaway meeting each year. Warren Buffett said famously, it takes 20 years to build a reputation and five minutes to ruin it. With that wisdom, I'm going to give you five pearls to help protect your online reputation and to help build your brand. Pearl number one is one photo. Your image is your brand and your brand should be consistent across all websites. No matter which website you land on, whether it's your practice page, your hospital page, an insurance website, or an online reputation page, you should have one brand that represents you, and that should be one professional photo. Pearl number two is content curation. Update your profiles. I suggest that you Google your name multiple ways. Your first name, your last name, your first name, your last name, MD, your first name, your last name, ophthalmologist, etc. Find what shows up on the first one, two, or three pages of your Google search. Most often it's an online reputation site. You should then click onto each of those review sites and see how your profile appears. Pearl number one is adding your physician photo. Pearl number two is updating your practice page, your surgery center page, your credentials, etc. These websites are representing your brand and they should be consistent and they should have timely information. Many of these websites also update their information with old data, so the information that you update may change going forward, and it's important to keep an eye on data that changes. Pearl number three is educate your promoters, patient engagement. No matter what the patient age, they're going online. They're Googling your name. They're trying to find resources to learn about the surgery or procedure that you've recommended for them. Take charge of that process. Give your patients reliable, vetted, reviewed information that they can use and make more informed decisions. Here you see the old American Academy of Ophthalmology logo. And I love that logo because it represents the fact that the Academy has continued to have preferred practice patterns and also patient education resources Using the, using the Academy's iSmart pages. So I often will refer my patients to the Academy's pages because I know that if I'm recommending cataract surgery or a laser procedure, the, the information that the patients will see on those pages will be the most advanced and the latest information. Pearl number four is address your critics, but stay positive. Never engage a patient online who writes a negative review. Always respond to them offline. Have a rapid response in which you can actually turn a negative into a positive. Here's an example of a patient who posted a review on our practice website. Since that review was posted, I have started to contact patients offline and seek feedback from those patients. In addition, we use our EMR system in our patient portal to send patient surveys every day after their visit so that we can identify unhappy patients, whether they were unhappy with the front desk, whether they were unhappy with our COVID um, protocols, whether they were unhappy because there was uh, poor parking, or if they felt that they did, they did not have enough time with the physician. Every positive review is, not, is important, but every negative review can help, can, can, um, can affect your brand. Here's an example of a review which I received. Dr. Goal is not personable. He asks the same tired questions every visit. When I looked up the name listed, I could not find that name in my electronic medical records. I then thought that the patient probably posted a review for another physician, and I contacted HealthGrades to inform them of that. They refused to remove that review. 
I then printed these cards that you see here, these photos, Dr. Goal is not personable. Out of state, unknown patient review posted on a physician rating site. I handed these reviews to my favorite patients, those who thanked me after their cataract surgery. Oftentimes, the patient would look at that, this card, they would laugh out loud, and they would say, Dr. Gold, this does not describe you at all. This was an example of a call to action, and I was able to have happy, healthy patients who had positive reviews go onto these physician rating sites and leave positive reviews. This is just one example that you can use. Pearl number five is social media. And I'd like you to think about social media as being strategic networking. There are numerous social media sites that can help you to build your physician brand. LinkedIn is essentially a professional CV. This is a page that you can control and patients will look at your professional credentials. Twitter has incredible power as it has been shown in the last decade. This is a tweet that I posted in 2014 when a colleague of mine was named Indiana Health Commissioner. This is Jerome Adams. And when I posted this tweet, the AMA retweeted that tweet to 419,000 followers. Twitter is power and you wanna learn the essentials of Twitter. Facebook has personal pages and professional pages. You can use your Facebook professional page and ask patients to contact you with appointments using Facebook. It also has the ability to engage with patients where they are online, and Facebook continues to have many hours of patient views. I think of Instagram as an educational page. I follow many colleagues around the world who post remarkable photos and clinical vignettes of their cases. They've helped to build their brand and they often get patients using Instagram. There's a LASIK surgeon who uses a thumbs up with his happy patients after LASIK and he'll often get patient referrals based on the branding that he's created. Here's an example of the power of blogging. In August of 2017, I wrote a short blog post on a case of the solar eclipse which caused macular damage in a soldier in 1945. This had increasing number of views and I then posted pearls for patients and the public as we prepared for the solar eclipse. This quickly snowballed and I was invited to be a guest on the local Fox News station to give patient protection pearls as we prepared 24 hours before the solar eclipse. This is just one example of how blogging can help you to build a physician brand. As much as social media remains relevant, print media remains relevant, and you can create a brand by submitting letters to the editor. In this 10 minute talk, I share the top five pearls to help you build a physician brand. I also have a more detailed talk in which I share additional pearls on protecting your online reputation and creating a physician brand. This talk is available for free on my personal blog, protectingsite.com slash talks. Please feel free to contact me by my social media channels or by my email listed for further information. Thank you.